Spurs lost 2-0 at home to Aston Villa on Sunday in the Premier League at the Tottenham Hotspur Stadium. The fans are extremely unhappy. Antonio Conte has said it was a miracle getting top four last season. And Spurs are now 13 points away from league leaders Arsenal and they have played a game less. Welcome back to the channel. Hope you're all keeping well. This is another edition of Spurs in the Media, where I began through all of today's newspapers, looking at all of the articles from the national press and also looking at the player ratings from the game at Tottenham Hotspur nil, Aston Villa 2. If you're watching this on YouTube, please do hit that subscribe button, like, share and comment below. And if you're listening to this on an audio platform, please do hit that follow button and leave a review if you can. So Tottenham Hotspur nil, Aston Villa 2 on Sunday at the Tottenham Hotspur Stadium. Spurs are now down to 5th in the Premier League. We are now 13 points away from league leaders and North London rivals Arsenal. They have played a game less. Now Aston Villa scored their first goal after 50 minutes after a mistake from Hugo Lloris. Uh, Watkins setting up Wendia. And then after 73 minutes, Aston Villa doubled their lead. Uh, it went 2-0. McGinn with a great ball through to Douglas Lloris with a great finish after a good team move. Now, Tottenham Hotspur set up uh, as follows. Hugo Lloris in goal, and then the back three of Romero, Lengley and Davis. Uh, the wing-backs, Perisic and Doherty. In midfield, Basuma and Hoybier. And then the front three of Kane, Son. And Brian Hill made his first start in the Premier League in a Tottenham Hotspur shirt. Four yellow cards in the game, Romero, Lengley, Davis and Basuma. Antonio Conte made five subs. The first came after 63 minutes. Cessnion coming on for Brian Hill. Uh, in the 80th minute, a double sub. Royale and Saar coming on for Doherty and Basuma. And then two minutes from time in the 88th minute, Skip and Spence coming on for Hoybier and Perisic. The match stats, Tottenham Hotspur had 59% possession to Aston Villa's 41. We had six shots, Villa had 13. Shots on target, Spurs only had two to Villa's four. Corners, uh, Tottenham Hotspur five, Villa three. Fouls, Spurs 15, Aston Villa 10. After the game, new Aston Villa manager Emery said, we are so happy we competed very well. Spurs were pushing us and we had options in the attacking third and that was good for our confidence. Adding three more points was fantastic. Whilst after the final whistle at the Tottenham Hotspur Stadium on Sunday afternoon, the Tottenham Hotspur fans booed the players off the pitch and Antonio Conte come out and said to BBC Sport that his side don't have many creative players. So let's go through today's newspapers, starting with the Times newspaper on the back page of the Times. It has a couple of pictures. Antonio Conte looking very unhappy and the Spurs players looking very unhappy after conceding the first goal. And it says here the Spurs defenders show their dejection after an error from the goalkeeper Hugo Lloris led to the opening goal in a 2-0 defeat by Villa that left Antonio Conte dismayed. The main heading, we can't compete, says Antonio Conte. It then goes on to say that Conte warned that Tottenham Hotspur may have to settle for a place outside the top four after his team were beaten 2-0 at home by Aston Villa yesterday. The Tottenham Hotspur head coach bemoaned a lack of creativity in his squad and said the club have to be realistic about what can be achieved without significant investment. He said, I'm not scared. I believe in my work. I believe in these players, but don't ask me for things I cannot promise you. Also in this report from the Times newspaper, it said Spurs conceded for the 10th match in a row yesterday. There was no way back as Buendia and Lewis gave uh, Villa their third victory in four league games under Emery. With Richarlison and Kulisewski both out injured, Conte said the team were lacking punch. He's quoted in saying, when you are without two or three important players, you have difficulties. We don't have many creative players. Now for a report from the Sun newspaper and Antonio Conte is on the back page here. Splurge, uh, Conte spending rant. Antonio Conte says Spurs cannot live up to crazy expectations if they don't spend like Premier League rivals. Tottenham were booed off after a home defeat by Aston Villa, which leaves them fifth, a position that Antonio Conte fears may be their limit this season. Now for a double page spread in the Sun newspaper, the main heading states Hugo Dross. 
and sadly I've seen that heading quite a few times in the last 12 months. Uh, it then goes on to give some stats. Uh, Tottenham players have made a combined five errors leading to opposition goals in this season's Premier League. At least two more than any other side with goalkeeper Hugo Lloris responsible for three out of those five. And what about this for a stat? Out of touch, it says here it took Harry Kane 19 minutes, 44 seconds to have his first touch yesterday, his longest wait this season. Now for a report from the Daily Express today, it says here on the back page, we need a miracle. Uh, this same picture used of Antonio Conte looking worried. Uh, it says here, Antonio Conte admits only luck will get sorry Spurs into Champions League again. Antonio Conte said he would need to repeat the miracle to get Tottenham into the top four unless there was major investment into the club. For a double page spread from the Daily Express, and it says here the message from the PA system could not have been clearer after Tottenham flopped again on the day the new transfer window opened. Let's get down to business. It then goes on to say here one of the main headings, now cold starters must buy way out of trouble. Spurs stuck in neutral. It's then got Antonio Conte saying crazy to say that we were title contenders in the summer. Now, the player ratings from the Daily Express today, they have given Hugo Lloris a 5, Romero a 6, Lenglet a 5, Davis a 6, Doherty a 5, Hoybier a 6, Basuma a 6, Perisic a 7, Son a 5, Harry Kane a 5, Brian Hill a 5. Now for a report from the Daily Telegraph, and I've got to say all of these reports today are very, very similar, very similar headings. Antonio Conte, we need another miracle. Defeat by Aston Villa hits Champions League hopes. Fifth place, the best we can hope for, says Spurs coach. Now for a double page spread from today's Daily Telegraph. The main heading states Tottenham fans turn fire on Levy in sobering defeat. For the 10th match in a row, Tottenham Hotspur fell behind. For Antonio Conte's side, it has almost become a tactical ploy. Concede the first goal, wake up and then come back in a stirring demonstration of resilience. The player ratings from the Daily Telegraph today, they have given Hugo Lloris a 5, Romero 6, Lengley 5, Davis 6, Doherty 6, Basuma 5, Hoybier a 6, Perisic a 6, Brian Hill a 5, Hunmin Son a 5, Harry Kane a 5. Now for a report from the Daily Mail today, and as I've stated, um, all of these reports are extremely similar today. On the back pages today, we need a miracle to make top four. Conte confession as lifeless Spurs slumped to Villa defeat. Antonio Conte warned Tottenham's furious fans it will take a miracle for them to finish in the top four following yesterday's 2-0 home defeat by Aston Villa. Spurs were booed off at full time after goals from Buendia and Luis. Uh, after Conte's side crashed to their fifth uh, league loss of the season, leaving them in fifth place, two points behind Manchester United. The double page spread from the Daily Mail today, it says question marks over futures of Harry Kane and Antonio Conte, Hummin Son struggling, another Larice Howler and Spurs turning on the board for Tottenham is a very unhappy new year. They've also provided some stats here. It says Tottenham have conceded at least twice in their last seven league games, their longest such run since a run of eight, and that was back in 1988. Um, Aston Villa have a habit of winning at Spurs. Their last four wins against them have all been away from home. The player ratings from the Daily Mail today, they have given Hugo Lloris a five, Romero a 5.5, Lenglet a six, Davis a six, Doherty a six, Basuma a five, Hoybier a six, Perisic a six, Brian Hill a five, Harry Kane a six, Hunmin Son a 5.5. They have given manager Antonio Conte five out of ten. On the back page of the Daily Mirror today, it says snappy boo year. Angry Spurs fans chant Levy out after being sunk by Flying Villa. And Antonio Conte says we need a miracle to make top four. Double page spread from the Daily Mirror today. It says Hugo Bost, just two weeks after his World Cup despair, Lloris hands an Argentinian another gift to spark revolt among fans. Hugo Lloris was haunted by another Argentinian as the Tottenham faithful began 2023 in open revolt. The report also states the stadium was half empty by the time Aston Villa was celebrating at the final whistle and those Tottenham fans who stayed booed the players off. It was only Villa's second away win of the season. 
Player ratings from the Daily Mirror today. Hugo Lloris a 5, Romero a 6, Lenglet a 6, Davis a 6, Doherty a 6, Hoybier a 6, Basuma a 6, Perisic a 7, Hummin Son a 6, Brian Hill a 5, Harry Kane a 6. Uh, they've given Sub Sessegnon a 6. Uh, personally, in my opinion, I think those ratings are very generous. Now for a report from the Guardian newspaper, it's got this main picture on the back page here of Buendia celebrating Aston Villa's first goal after 50 minutes at the Tottenham Hotspur Stadium. The main heading states Spurs fans vent fury. Antonio Conte calls for realism after miracle finish. Now for a report from the Times newspaper, it's got these pictures here of Aston Villa celebrating uh, and it says there was no comeback this time, only booze, chance against the chairman and a growing sense that Antonio Conte is again entering darker days as the Tottenham Hotspur head coach. The player ratings from the Times newspaper today are as follows. Hugo Lloris a four, Romero a seven, Langley a six, Ben Davis a five, Doherty a six, Basuma a six. Hoybier a seven, Perisic a seven, Hunmin Son a five, Harry Kane a five, Brian Hill a six, Sub Sessignon a six. After the game, Antonio Conte said he believes that there are unrealistic expectations on Tottenham. This is a short clip of what he had to say in his press conference. I am not to think about which, which are the expectations. I know, I know. Uh, which is the reality, you understand? Because uh, I'm a head coach, I leave the club every day, I know which is the situation, I know the vision of the club, and uh, the club knows very well which is my thoughts about the situation. And uh, the situation was very clear. I continue to work to improve and to help you to improve the club, to create a, a, a foundation, a solid foundation, and then to, to, to develop. And uh, at the start of the season, I was very, very clear with the club. I said, OK, we can be competitive to win, but try to continue to improve and to, in the way that we can do it. Because uh, also, and uh, you have to know that uh, there are clubs that can invest 200, 300 millions, and then, and then the other, other clubs that uh, they have a, politi a different politic, and I repeat, you have to respect the politic. The most important thing that uh, the politic has to be very clear <laughs> of the people. Otherwise, we create expectation, and that uh, uh, is not, is not positive. No, it's not positive for, for the environment. Thanks for watching and thanks for listening. I hope you enjoyed it. If you're watching this on YouTube, please do hit the subscribe button, like, share and comment below. And if you're listening to this on an audio platform, please do hit the follow button and leave a review if you can. I'll see you in the next one. Until then, come on you Spurs.